Hey guys, one forty-four JB here. La la la. Um, and today we'll be doing. I don't know. I don't know if we'll be doing off the pill or whatever. So, oh, we're going to talk about. I don't know what we're talking about. I really don't. I don't. I don't know what we are going to talk about, but I I haven't been making videos for a long time, and I have no um I have nothing to say for that. No, I have no explanation for that. I don't know. I just you know my YouTube videos on my favorite YouTubers, and I wasn't really busy. I wasn't really. Um, doing videos because of that. So now I I want to do some videos because I missed it. I missed doing videos. And now when people people sometimes say that when YouTubers don't make a lot of videos very quickly or you know like that, they say that they're dead. Okay, you're dead. And, um, what else? They're dead. Um, what else? Were they molested? Were they raped? And beaten up? And then killed? Were they murdered? What? Were they cupped in half? What do you think? Because you said they're dead. Um. But yeah, to me that sounds weird. Because. You know, it's a rumor. You know, that's how rumors work, but what kind of rumor is that? A rumor? Yeah, it's just, there's no type of rumor, there's no genre, genre of a rumor. But, you know, that sounds kind of weird to me, kind of dumb in a way, but, you know, people sometimes are silly. And they do stupid stuff. But we can forgive them for that. We can forgive them for their stupidness. And, you know, just carry on. Like normal people do. Because if we don't forgive, if we never forgive, we will never forget. Uh, a quote by Barack Obama. Anyways. A quote by Barack Obama? Are you kidding me? Anyways, um, I haven't finished this book. If you seen the video about this book, where I watched, you know, you know this, yeah, um, me, Alex Rodriguez is kind of like upside down in your point of view. It looks like another English ang language, but if we put it upside down. It pop. It it still. It looks like another language. So yeah, that sucks. Anyways, we haven't finished this. So how about we finish it? I don't know where we left off. I don't know. I don't know where we left off. Where did I leave off? Hmm. Um. I don't know. we left off that's really really what I hate about these things he kind of looks like the rock okay hold on okay I read this book I know I read this one I read this one I don't think I read this one okay let's try this if, if, if I already read this one, I'm sorry, but I, I have a bad memory. I didn't make one of these videos a long time. Anyways, let's go read it. Rodriguez became a free agent after the 2000 season. What? A free agent can leave his current team and sign a contract with any team he wants to. This actually means a free agent will play for the top team that will pay him 
foremost, the Texas Rangers finished the 2000 season in last place. But they have been an excellent team in early years. They wanted to improve, but they needed a star player. Star player turned out to be Rodriguez. The Rangers agreed to pay him $252 million after over the next 10 years. My God. This contract made Rodriguez the highest paid athlete in the America. Oh, I lost my part. Anyways, Rodriguez played even better in Texas than he did in Seattle. In 2002, he hit 57 home runs. Damn. The most home runs ever hit by a short stop. While playing for the Rangers, Rodriguez was the Gold Glove Award two years in a row. He was also the 2003 American League Most Valuable Player. This meant he was more valuable to his team than any other player in the league. In spite of a Rod's efforts, the Texas Rangers kept finishing in last place. The Rangers needed to, to fill their roster with other talented players. This meant they could no longer afford to play Rodri pay Rodriguez. Who's that car? Anyways. In 2004, they decided to trade him to another team, the New York Yankees. The New York Yankees agreed to take Rodriguez since the Yankees already had a superstar sh shortstop named Derek Jeter. Derek. Derek Jeter. The, la <laughs> the last airbender reference. Jet. Airbender reference. Rodriguez of Greaves to play third base. Third base. Not, not bad. Not, not bad at all. The New York Yankees. Before he played for the Yankees, Rodriguez wore the number three on his uniform. That was also the number worn by Yankee Babe Ruth. Hey, serious? The most famous baseball player of all time, out out of respect for Ruth. The Yankees retired the number three many years ago. Jesus Christ! Rodriguez needed a, needed a number. He could use unlucky numbers 13. It did not take him long to prove that over situation wrong. Many players struggle in their first season with the Yankees. No other team in baseball receives as much meta attention and nationwide scrutiny. Scrutiny, I think. I don't know. I don't know what that word is. This can lead a lot of pressure. Rodriguez dealt with the pressure while his first season was the Yank with 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 the Yankees was not his best season. It was still very good. He batted two hundred eight. Point two hundred eighty nine eighty six with nine three thirty nine thirty six. Why am I keep on replacing sixes with nines? Thirty six home runs. He also had one hundred six. There we go. Ones batted in. These are also known as RBI. An RBI happens when a player on base scores a result of the batter's hit. This was Rodriguez's seventh season in a row with that 100 RB1. Jesus. In 2005, Rodriguez had another of his best seasons. Yep. He batted. Point three hundred twenty-one. Hit 48 home runs and collected 100. 30 RBI. The highlight of the season came on April 26 in his game agent against the Los Angeles Angels. In just one game, he hit three run, three home runs and contributed contributed to 10 RBI. Later that year, he won his second most valuable player award. 
Hallelujah! How long have been this video going? Oh my god, 10 minutes and 7 seconds! Anyways, Alex Rodriguez is more than just a baseball player. He also had also a family man. This has nothing to do with his career, but we're at any anyway. rate. He married his wife, Katai. Let's just call her name Katana. Halo 4 reference. In 2002, Katana is a teacher. Their daughter, Natasha Pa. What the fuck? Uh, let's, <laughs> let's just go with this, shall we? Um, was born in November 2004. That means she's nine years old. Okay. Anyways. Rodriguez well, says that he is a produ is producer of his family than of any of his baseball accomplishments. Rodriguez well, makes a lot of money, and he shares a lot of that money with charities. The boys that the boys and girls club of America is one or organization that b benefits from Rodriguez. He remembers. How the Boys and Girls Club of Miami helped him out, helped him in his youth. He and he is grateful. Good job, bro. In addition to make large donations, Rodriguez hosts fundraisers to raise money for the club. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. But like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you also enjoyed. Share with your friends. And then laugh. Okay, right, guys, bye. It's been. I had to end it because it's been so long. It's 12 minutes and 8 seconds. Are you kidding me? I made a video like longer than that, and then it wasn't up. It, it wasn't allowed on YouTube because, well, it wasn't flagged. It was because it was so long that I couldn't upload it. Yeah, that's. That's my, that's how YouTube works. Anyways, guys, bye guys, bye bye.